we're starting a revolution to liberate us from the cost and the environmental damage of how we make cars. I've got in my backpack here the first product of that new technology base. It's incredibly light in both its weight and its impact on our planet. So what do you say? Let's go build the world's first 3D printed supercar. I'm John Bruner and I'm here at Divergent Micro Factories in Orange County, California, talking with Kevin, Brad, and Praveen, who have worked as a team to make this beautiful prototype of the world's first 3D printed high performance car. Divergent Micro Factories is developing a novel way of creating cars that weigh much less than a traditional car in distributed factories around the world. This is spectacular. So what is this? This is a car which uh, has been designed to be uh, manufactured out of 3D metal printed nodes and carbon fiber tubing. And the result is we've radically reduced the uh, material and energy that have gone into its construction and radically uh, reduced the cost of building the car. So what we want to do is take the first prototype, which we quickly built, which shows the functionality of that approach, and around it build all of the design elements and manufacturing elements that would allow us to scale up to an annual production of 10,000 vehicles. Then take that as a shrink-wrapped model with tools that other entrepreneurs anywhere in the world, small teams of entrepreneurs, could access and use. So you use our node technology to build up the underlying chassis. And then you can use, again, 3D printed technology to, to build up uh, you know, composites or metal-shaped bodywork mm -hmm. that gives you that uh, outside shape that you're looking for. So we come back again to the notion of a platform, where exactly. um, uh, DM has done all of the, the hard work of developing the engineering, um, exploring its strengths and limitations, and then right. produces a, a platform that someone who doesn't have that expertise can build on top of. Exactly, yeah. We have, we have kind of uh, solved a lot of those challenges, and the idea is a DM micro factory, right, will allow um, you know, semi-skilled people to actually build together a car that historically has required either huge amounts of investment or has required very skilled people. Mm -hmm. Some people are doing it with Arduino, and I'd like to think, uh, not to sound too hokey, this could be Carduino, but at a very different scale and obviously with uh, industrial strength types of tools like 3D metal printing. Yeah, I love the analogy to the Arduino because just like the Arduino, you're, you're doing the hard engineering and then giving people an abstracted module that they can yeah. use and dramatically lowering the barrier um, to creating something. This car isn't conventional at all in the way that it's assembled. It has these nodes. Uh, tell me about the node. Sure. So the node is like a Lego block. And from that single Lego block, you can create really complex structures. And what we did is the Lego block is printed out of aluminum. And with 3D printing, you can do very elaborate complex shapes and optimize it for weight and strength and realize the efficiencies and the, the fact that part complexity is free with 3D printing. And then use common off-the-shelf carbon fiber tubes to do some of the longer, bigger pieces. And with that, you get a highly optimized structure for both weight and cost and you do things that can, can, in a conventional way could never be done before. So you can almost imagine taking a node, putting a carbon tube, right, gluing it together, put another node, another carbon tube, and very quickly you can scale up to massive uh, and complex structures. Within the last year, this technology has really come to a point where we can actually make a car out of it. I think within the last nine months, it's actually become physically possible. And that, that's pretty cool. There's a long way for it to go, but I think Right now it's at a point where obviously we have a prototype sitting right there. We better think about some alternative other than the current way of manufacturing and scaling up and using the material and energy that we use to build these things. And if I can think of this, other entrepreneurial teams can take these tools as well and radically innovate and radically create. I want to create the catalyst for that. Thank you so much, Kevin. It's great to talk and really appreciate your being part of Solid. I think this is core to the program and this is going to be a spectacular part of it.